Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Zalian, and welcome to a brand new video on this channel. Today, I have a special guest with me, and this is Dory. Hello, guys. Uh, so, Dory is a developer, and he's also a really good friend of mine. He has created one of the most popular games of my channel. The game is called Kairos Dungeon Skip. If you guys haven't played that game, you should definitely give it a try. The download, download link should be actually in the description or in my Discord server. You can actually visit there and download it from there. The link is actually going to be in there. And today I brought him to you guys so that I can share his vision about this game, what he thought about this game, and how he did manage to create this game as well. I also want to bring some more different kind of contents to you guys that's why i'm actually doing this and in the future i'm going to bring more people in this channel and i'm actually going to try and uh, make this community a bit bigger with your help so make sure you guys do support me and stay with my channel now let's hear from dory oh hello well as um, my good friend alien just said i did create Kara dungeon escape and i'm very excited to talk more about it as i'm very passionate about game development and also hentai game development i think it brings a new challenge to the process um so i'm going to ask you a few questions about the game and i hope you are okay with that yep okay so let's begin so my first question for you is uh where did you get the idea for this game okay so that's a bit difficult to explain but basically when we wanted to start making the game we wanted to make something that was unique and my only requirement for the game was that it could be played with just one hand for obvious reasons so after yeah. thinking of some games because of, I have played a lot of them so thinking of some games that I have played that are not hentai games that would be fun or unique i thought what if we did jump king but as a hentai game and way more forgiving it's like taking just the core of jump king and putting it into a hentai game so the idea just came from brainstorming stuff to make that's actually really cool um so, uh, did you create this game all by yourself? Oh, well, no. Um, okay, so we were originally three people. Uh, it was me, which is the programmer. Then we have an artist, which is still on the team. And the third guy was also someone that was very passionate about those kind of games. So, he did provide a lot of good feedback and input. Although he's he couldn't stay with us so currently it's just me and someone else oh that's actually really cool uh what was your inspiration behind creating this game it's jump king and few other games i suppose mm, well i've always played games and mm. i've always enjoyed programming so after meeting my artist friend and talking a bit about it, you know, just sharing hobbies and stuff like that, we said to ourselves, why don't we make a game as well? We, I could uh, gain a lot of experience by doing that, and he could uh, also uh, benefit from it in other ways. So just talking about the games, we thought, Hey, what? Um, so are you working on any other project right now? Okay, so I'm not actively working in any other projects. As in, I'm not working in projects that I own personally. But I do help people on the side. Because the nature of this community is that as long as the art is good, you can find success. But that means that most people who actually create games are artists and struggle with the logic of the game. So as someone who's very much just a programmer, I like to help people create their game and make their vision of their game come true. 
if somebody wants to support your work, how can they? Okay, so we currently have two places where you can support us financially. Um, for the Western audience, we have a fan box. And the other one is for our mainly Japanese audience, because we do plan on releasing it on DL site. And that's our CN page. And you can also just support us by like following us on Twitter, uh, on our Barag or on our Pixiv, you know, just a follow to anything helps. Honestly, you don't have to spend any money. That's actually really cool to know. Um, have you played any other NSFW games so far? I have played so many not safe for work games. Actually, I've played more not safe for work games than I've played normal games. It's to the point that I would go and brag to people how my, how many not safe for work games I have played. I think I we are the so same. Proud of that. I think we are the same <laughs> on that sector. Yeah. Uh, so, what is your most favorite game? Okay, so I just need a bit of clarification here. Are you talking normal games, not safe for work games, or like in, in both? Uh, both. Okay, so let me do the not safe for work one because that is very easy. Uh, my favorite game would be Black Souls. Uh, I, it's hard of it actually. It is a very fun game. It's a Japanese game that mm. basically is like a parody of both Dark Souls and Alice in Wonderland and a lot of other fables as well. It's very fun and it has that kind of not horror i want to say weird horror it's like something that defies common sense i'm quite a big fan of that it also has amazing combat you c it's so good that you could play the game without even seeing the hentai you, you don't even need the hentai scene they're good hentai scenes but it's that good amazing story amazing gameplay amazing theme setting environment i love it I think I have for... found another game for my channel, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, do play it. Although, let me tell you, you might need a guide. It also, ha it also has a sequel, so you'll have a lot of content. That's actually really cool. I definitely have to give it a try now. Oh so... yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And the mm. normal game? Yeah. I think that will be a tie between Pokemon Black and White. Who? I enjoyed that one a lot. Unfortunately, what's happening right now. And Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's oh. the one from the meme. I have actually never played any of those games. <laughs> oh, so I don't I, have I much advise, idea. It, I, I really advise, advise you to play them. They're so fun. I'm definitely going to give it a try, man. Amazing. Uh, so, what's your plan for the future? Like, uh, do you want to move away from this sector and try something different or I don't know do you want to try something on this sector in the future hmm. so for the future yeah. I very much plan on developing not safe for work games as I do really like the type of group it's like it's a kind of reward that can only be enjoyed in a special way it's kind of intimate it's more emotionally you you have more emotional attachment to it in my opinion so i'm gonna stay in this lane i'm not gonna move <laughs> we do also plan on making more games and hopefully games that are fun to everyone and that everyone can enjoy okay i have then one final question like um is this sector really good like suppose somebody if somebody wants to in the future uh wants to pursue uh to become a nsw game developer uh is it suitable like is it actually going to help them be what should i say be successful or something 
Okay, so from what I've seen, it mm. is much easier to get into not say for work uh, game development than it is for normal game development because it's mainly about the art and sometimes gameplay is secondary which is a shame but that is what people seem to like i'm trying to make my game fun in both ways gameplay wise and also hentai wise but if you are an artist yeah. or just passionate enough you could just like commission people to make you make art for your game and then you could build something together and you will have much more success than if it wasn't a not safe for work game okay so what's your opinion on the ai then like ai is really huge at this point is it going to help hmm now that depends on what you mean by helping uh, to create art like you don't actually need someone else's help in the future you can create a game all by yourself and stuff like this i will say ai is 100 percent an amazing technology but i will say that it is way too unstable and also a bit ethically I want to say ambiguous. I myself wouldn't use it as I feel like it is not correct for me to use it, nor is the result that captivating for me. I feel like it lacks intention and it makes it difficult to get the art that you actually want for your game. Of course, if you want to use it, you can go ahead and use it. I can't stop anyone. But so far, I feel like it's only being used to make quick games rather than fun games. And I feel like that is quite sad. Yes, understandable. So that's it for the interview, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my good friend Dory. You can actually follow him on Twitter. And I hope that he's going to create some more interesting game in the future. And yeah, now let me know about your experience, Dory. Uh, what do you think about this? This is a really bad word I know. I haven't done actually that many interviews, but let me know your opinion as well. I'm very honored to be the first one, and I am sure that this series is going to be extremely enjoyable to watch. Thank you. And thanks a lot for joining. And yeah, if you create another game, make sure you actually let me try it. Because I will definitely enjoy playing your game. Your first one was just unbelievably good. I honestly enjoy playing it a lot. So yeah, that's Thanks it. So much.